Hi, it's Tamar. Thanks for joining. Today, I'm gonna teach you the intro to pole milestone move, the dip spin, also known as a step around. This is probably one of the first moves you'll learn, so it truly is a milestone. Let's get to it. There are no prerequisites for this move. However, you'll want to make sure that you feel comfortable putting some weight on your shoulder. To prepare for this, you can stand next to the pole and reach up high and try to pull the pole out of the ceiling. You'll notice that you're probably adding some distance between your ear and your shoulder. This is often referred to as engagement. Try this a few times on both sides before moving on to the full dip spin. To set up your dip spin, stand on one side of the pole and reach your inside arm up and grab in a baseball grip. With your other arm, reach across your body and grab the pole. Your top hand is now your anchor point and your bottom hand is a second point of contact for support. From here, I'm going to come onto my tiptoes and reach my outside foot out to try to touch the bottom edge of the wall. I'm trying to create the longest line possible from my top hand through to my bottom toes. From here, in order to create my rotation, I'm going to turn my inside knee toward the pole and I can now start to face the pole and continue drawing a big circle with the other leg and coming down. And that's the full move. Let's try it on the other side. So I'm going to reach up, reach across, come onto my toes, reach out, and step around. Here are a couple of variations for this move. If the full dip spin feels a little daunting, you can start by just shifting weight from one foot to the other. I'm still going to set up my dip spin here, but instead of drawing a full circle, I'm just going to come onto that other leg. From here, I can progress to doing a half circle around the pole. So I'm setting up, rotating my knee in toward the pole, and going halfway. One common exit for this move is to bring that inside knee onto the pole after you've completed the move. So I'm setting up. In my case, my right leg is the standing leg now, and that's the leg that I'm gonna bring onto the pole. So, rotating in, coming around, and bringing that knee onto the pole. A few common mistakes to avoid when you're doing a dip spin. First of all, you'll get the most momentum and prettiest shape if you bend your knees. First the inside knee, then the outside knee. Next, you wanna make sure to grab the pole nice and high. If you start to drop the hand, your shoulder is going to be farther from the pole and it's easier to feel like you're losing control of the spin. Finally, you wanna to try to keep in mind that long line from the top hand to the bottom foot. If you start bringing your hip toward the pole, you're going to lose the momentum and you won't be able to get around the pole for the full dip spin. That's it for me. Have fun practicing your dip spin, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. <sighs> that last little <sighs> First the outside knee, then nope, the other way around. No, that's not what I was gonna say. Sorry, why is talking so hard? Yeah. Wow. Okay, not supposed to do that code.